We sent undercover cameras into dozens of police stations. We wanted to find out how people would be treated and what the procedures are for filing complaints against police officers. I-Team investigator Mike Kirsch is here now with his investigation into what some might consider police station intimidation. Police departments around the country, like here in Tallahassee, give citizens police complaint forms all the time, no questions asked. But walk into a police station in South Florida trying to find out how to file a complaint and watch what happens. Yeah, I wanted to find out how to file a complaint against an officer. I just wanted to find out how to do it. You guys have a form or something that I could take with well, me? Well, you gotta tell me first, and then I gotta hear what's going on. You gotta tell me what the complaint is. Do you have a complaint form that I can like fill out or something like that? Might not be a, a legitimate complaint. Who decides that? I'm trying to help you. Like if there's a form, why can't I just take it and leave, right? No, you don't leave with forms. You tell me what happened, and then I help you from there. Do you have, you have an idea on you? Why? You know what? You need to leave, okay? You're refusing to tell me what you want to do, okay? You're refusing to tell me who's involved, where it happened, what transpired. You're not cooperating with me one bit. I was just asking if you guys have a complaint form or like if there's some way for me to contact internal affairs. You can do whatever the hell you want. It's a free country. Why are you cursing at me? Where do you live? Where do you live? All right, first of all. So you're not going to tell me where you live, what your name is, or anything like that, right? I mean, if you're going to, like, I mean, if I have to. Are you on medication? Why would you ask me something like that? Because you're not answering any of my questions. So I'm on medication? I asked you. It's a free country. I can ask you that. Okay, you're right. So you're not going to tell me who you are. You're not going to tell me what the problem is. You're not going to identify yourself. All I asked you was, like, how do I contact them? You said you had a complaint. You said my officers are acting in an inappropriate manner. Leave now. Leave now. You better keep walking, son, before you get yourself in some trouble. I'm not doing anything wrong. Neither am I. It's a free country. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why did you get out of my face, man? It's not in your face. I'm standing. Sidewalk, free country. Exactly. One more step towards me, see what happens. I didn't grab one. Step towards you, man. Take one more step towards me, see what happens. There's about three or four blocks now for the drop off. Yeah, I'm trying to find out how to file a complaint against an officer. Where does he work at? I'm saying if he works at this district. I'm, we're trying to file I'm a asking you a question. Where does he work at? If he works here at this district. The answer is just try to answer my question. I, know I'm, you, I think you think this is a big conspiracy. I'm trying to like find out like how you file a complaint. That's what I'm asking. If you think you can walk in here and go straight to the director of Metro Day Police without telling me any details, you can't do it. And I, for some reason, you think that. I don't know why. You think it's a big conspiracy that I'm gonna, we're gonna hide some information about what happened to you? I don't know. Is it a traffic ticket? Is it something that you know, a discourtesy complaint? What is it? He stole your lunch money? Uh, did he steal your money? Did he, you know, have sex with your wife? What? Uh, I just want to know how can I go about uh, filing a complaint on a police officer? Okay, where did the incident happen? What street? And what and the uh, what right man? I suppose. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that means yes, I guess you're saying, right? And for backing up, correct? Yes? I was backing up, sir, because I was leaving. Like, there's no way, like, to just write it down on something. Like, 
So first of all, why don't you tell me what happened, and I'll tell you if somebody did something wrong to you. I mean, like, I feel like I know, like, I mean, if somebody did something wrong, I mean, like, I mean, I, you know. Maybe not. Sometimes people don't. Some people think that we're not allowed to do certain things, and we are. And sometimes, you know, some guys take it overboard, and they're not allowed to do that. Right. You know, I don't know what happened. Right. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to, like, I don't, I don't want to talk. I tried to help you, but I mean, I don't have issues, man. The real issue seems to be why can't a complaint form against the police be found seemingly anywhere at South Florida Police Department? Is there like just a form that I can fill out? Is there a form or something? Is there just something I can fill out? You guys don't have like a complaint form or anything? This like hidden camera test was carried out by a police abuse watchdog group called the Police Complaint Center. Remarkably, of 38 different police stations tested around South Florida, all but three had no police complaint forms. Is there a form or something? Is there just something I can fill out? You guys don't have like a complaint form or anything like that? Florida City PD and Homestead PD had them, as did the city of Miami, in three languages, English, Spanish, and Creole. But Miami Police Chief John Timoney was in no mood to gloat after hearing about the social skills of some cops. Why don't you shut up? And the behavior of other police officers when asked how complaints might be filed against their fellow cops.